to my channel. This is just a quick update video and just a few things I'd like to share. Um, I was pleased today because I christened my toasty machine for the very first time. A uh, toasty machine I got a while back online. Um, I'm always a little bit apprehensive about trying new things, particularly as I was doing all of my own because I can't have support at the moment because of my issues. Um, um, but it was very simple to use, very easy, instructions very straightforward, you know, they're not difficult appliances. Obviously it's a bit faffy to clean them because you have to clean it with a cloth because it's electrical. Um, you have to clean it with a cloth which obviously is a bit faffy and can take a bit of time. Um, but it, it's worth it though because it was really nice. Um, I made a, um, and, I'm, and I haven't had toasties for ages, like I used to sometimes have them out and about and I'd want to get a toast machine because I really like them. Um, so I made a cheese and apple one. Um, next time I make it, I think I'm just, I'm not going to bother grating the cheese, because funnily enough, I think the recipe said to grate the cheese, but, um, I think that just creates more mess, and in another book I've got, it said that, um, it's easier and more straightforward not to grate the cheese, and also, um, it kind of makes a better toasty, I think, so, um, yeah, next time I'm not going to bother grating the cheese, save some time as well, <laughs> and just slice it and put it on, because it melts anyway, and that will be less faffy, I think, um, and also, they don't take that long to cook. Like, I might have slightly overcooked it. It was really nice, though. Um, good first attempt. But um, I think it probably only takes, like, literally about two to three minutes. Um, so, yeah, it's trial and error. But it's my first attempt, and I was pleased. And um, I've got lots of recipes to try out. It was really nice. Um, I made it with white bread this time. But um, I think I might try it with wholemeal another time. Uh, yeah, very, very nice. So that was a success. Um, as I say, I do take a little while to clean, that's a bit faffy, but it's worth it because, you know, they're so nice. It's only a slightly longer, as only a slightly more time, you know. <laughs> um, I've also got a waffle maker as well, which I want to christen at some point, uh, maybe the week after next. I always find it a bit uh, anxiety-provoking trying new things, however much I want to use it and stuff. Um, I'll be talking with my psychologist about that, though. I think it's just because, you know, like, I feel the unknown and what things goes wrong and trusting myself and stuff like that, and then... Yeah, using up spoons, kind of like, um, energy units, is just a way of talking. Um, basically, can take a bit, you know, can be a little bit, um, hard for me, but, um, I was pleased because I did it. Um, so that was good. Um, on the downside today, I was annoyed because I'd ordered the camper, as I mentioned last time, the camper craft kit off Amazon. And it arrived, and um, I was really disappointed today when I opened it up to find that most of the contents were missing. Thankfully, I managed to get a refund straight away, and they have refunded me straight away, no problem. And I've managed to reorder it from Double H Smith. It was very annoying, though, because I was really looking forward to begin making it today. Ugh. It's the first time that's happened to me. I hear about it happening to other people where things arrive with half the contents missing, but it's never, occurred, it's never happened to me before. I guess it's just one of those things. You know, it's just life. I've been, I've been refunded, got my money back, and I've reordered it off Double H Smith. So hopefully we will get the full contents this time. That was a bit annoying. Um, what else? Um, I also um, I got a Care Bear today. <laughs> um, uh, just because, I don't know, they're just cute. And um, I wanted one to um, cuddle in bed because um, they're a nice size. I got one, it's um, the Sleep Bear, which is the one with um, Dream, not Sleep. Yeah, the, the, the sleep bear, that's what it's called, I think. It's like, it's, um, I'll show it to your camera enough time. Um, it's the one that's got, like, the moon and the star on it. And it's like, a okay, bedtime bear, that's what it's called, bedtime bear, yeah. So um, I got that because it's like a plush, and it's a nice size for cuddling in bed. And I like cuddling things in bed because it always, it's like the sensory pressure. It always, it always relaxes me when I'm going to sleep. I like cuddling things in bed. Um, I'm sure many adults do. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I just find it comforting and calming, you know, and it helps me go to sleep, so, you know. And, um... I, I just, um, they look cute, and, um, it's because it's like, um, it's like a plush, it's like really soft, um, so that arrived today. I have ordered also the, um, I'm only getting, the one, the other one I've ordered is the, um, I managed to get it off Amazon, sorry, I managed to get it off eBay for £29, which is like saving about, I don't know, £7 or something, um, off the retail price, um, and it's brand new as well, so that's like the bargain. Um, the, uh, Cheer Bear, that's it. Um, because I really like the colour and I love rainbows. Um, it's like pink. It's my favourite colour. It's just like really happy. So um, yeah, I'm only, I'm only getting like probably only like two of them. Um, but yeah, that's just that's just made me feel good. Um, and what else? Trying to accessorise my dollhouse. As I told you, I've got sort of some Sylvanian families. Um, it's like a log cabin. 
Um, I have basically accessorised it for the furniture. I don't need any more furniture or anything, but I'm like, um, I'm get, I got it a tiny little, um, hasn't arrived yet, a tiny little um, doll's house size tea, tea set and a little cake, which is like really cute, um, from, uh, um, what's that company called? Yeah, Good Value, actually, because some doll's house sets is quite expensive. This is a good company because it's quite cheap. Um, what is it called? I uh, can't remember. Um, <laughs> it's on fair head. Uh, My Tiny World, that's it. They're not too bad. Um, so, yeah, I got it from there. Um, so, yeah, so that, that, I'm looking forward to that because I'm, like, creating a little scene and I just love miniature food. Um, what else is going on? So, yeah, my life is pretty boring, as you know, stuck at home. <laughs> not much is going on. Um, that's why, you know, not much is going on. It is pretty dull. Um, what else has been going on? Oh, yeah, the other day, I, have, I did watch a film on Netflix um, recently called uh, Midsummer, which was um, actually very good. I very enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of dark cottage core, um, similar to, in a way to, Wick, to Wicker Man, that folk horror movie. Um, it's set in Sweden. It's basically it's about these young American students who go to Sweden to join a um, uh, a commune, um, a sort of pagan commune. Um, which every 90 years they have a, um, a, a, a festival, a midsummer festival, um, and what appears at first to be a sort of an idyllic setting rapidly descends into, well, horror, really. Um, yeah, it's described as like a sort of folk horror movie. Um, I won't tell you what happened, obviously, because you might not have seen it. It was really creepy, um, kind of psychological horror, most of it. Um, yeah, it kind of was, whoa, it was weepy, kind of psychedelic in a way, just like a trippy movie, but horrific. So I saw that recently, that was quite good. Um, okay, so I'm going to move over to video number two now because I just want to talk just very quickly about a few other things, so just moving over to video number two now.